We had a patient, he was a 52 year old man. He was having dinner with the rest of the family. All of a sudden, he collapsed at the dinner table. He arrived here at the hospital at around 11 p.m. and we were able to mobilize our team to come in at that time. And then we attended to the patient. This is a patient who had been uh, hypertensive for a long time. He had been regularly on treatment, but uh, he was the anchor of his family and everybody really loved him. So everybody was so anxious about their dad, about their granddad. They are wondering what is going to happen with him. But we mobilized the team. We discovered he had a problem with the heart and we rushed him here to cath lab to attend to him. When we started the procedure, we discovered he had blockages in the vessels, two vessels of the heart, and that is what had caused the problem. So we're able to unblock those vessels and uh, in the next morning, the gentleman was very okay. Uh, we discharged him the next day and the family was really very happy. These are people who had taken care of their dad for quite a long time and they were fond of him. And if we had laid even just for one hour, they were going to lose him. There are quite a number of conditions that are managed in cath lab. The commonest ones are blockages of the coronary vessels are uh, what we commonly call heart attack in a layman's language and uh, presents mainly with chest pain and when those patients come we are able to access the heart and uh, access those vessels that are supplying the heart and know which vessel has been blocked and unblock it by putting in a stent. A stent is some device that we fix in where there's a blockage and we keep that place open so that blood can easily flow to and fro and be able to supply the heart. There are other conditions that we manage in the cath lab, especially somebody who has a, a heart block. A heart block is where the rate at which the heart is beating is very low. Usually in a normal person, the heartbeat is between 60 and 80 beats per minute. But in some people, that heartbeat can reduce to as low as 25 to 30. And many times they start getting dizzy and they collapse. And when these people come, we are able to fix in an engine in the heart that is able to help the heart beat faster. And then they can be able to do their work without any limitations. We also have other conditions that affect the blood vessels like varicose veins. If somebody has a, a swollen leg with a engorged veins that are supplying the leg, every time they move a very short distance, the leg begins swelling or they develop wounds on the legs after they have been swollen for a long time, those people can easily come to the hospital and we are able to access the veins that have been affected and we treat that vein and the leg comes back to normal without any swelling, without any wounds coming, without any pain or any itching on that part of the leg. Uh, we are able to manage even people who have had a stroke. We all know what a stroke is. Somebody might be wake up in the morning and part of the body is paralyzed, is unable to move the hand, is unable to move the leg. If it is so early and it has just happened, we can easily rush those people here. It comes because of the blockage or a bleed in the brain. But when we are able to identify that blockage in the brain, we are able to unblock it and then the blood supply is uh, restored to the part of the brain that was affected and this person can easily recover from the stroke that he suffered. So those are some of the conditions that we're able to treat here in cath lab. Also for children who have just been born, many of them may be born with holes on the heart. Here we are able to manage those holes using the cath lab by just putting in some device that is able to block those holes in the heart and these children live a normal life. But even for complicated cases, maybe that we not be able to work on just by using stents, we are in the process of opening up an open heart surgery unit where these people can be managed because there are those complicated cases where you may need to put their three foot stents and may not be feasible. We are able to move these patients and we work on them in the open heart surgery 
Pieter. For everybody who is out there in the community, we want you to know that we care about uh, the conditions that you suffer from and the conditions that are affecting the community. And we have set up this cath lab just as a way of intervening and making sure you do not need to travel abroad to get these services because these services are available here in the hospital, here at Case Hospital. You can come and access these services. Case Medical Services. Fluent in healthcare.